Hey guys, a quick video for you today showing you how to fix the exposure lock on the DJI Fly 1.4.0. Some issues with this yesterday, people thinking as this exposure lock gone, and they, it's not gone, it's just changed the way you have to do it. And I'm going to show you today a couple of different methods of how to do it. So what you do is simply is, you need to click on the screen in auto to get this yellow box. Once you've got that yellow box, if you just press your finger down and hold it for about a second, you'll get a lock icon. You don't get an icon in the bottom corner but you do get an exposure locked icon and then if we just look now if we change our exposure we're going to move that slider and we're going to put it to let's say plus 1.7 so it's overexposed at the moment if I now click to get that yellow box hold it down you'll see auto exposure locked so everything is really overexposed if I now move the drone around you can see that exposure is staying the same it is completely blown out because that exposure is now locked to what I've set it at I just want to sit it down here again if I click the screen again it is a bit fiddly. You click it once, you see it's now locked still. Click it again, and then you'll be able to then unlock it. So I'm now going to change the exposure value to a different value. So it's now unlocked. You'll see that paddle lock sign is gone. And we'll move that slider down and we'll have it so it's at 0, 0.0. If you click to get the yellow box, hold your finger down, you'll see again auto exposure locked at 0, 0.0. And as I move that drone around, it's staying as well. So that's how you lock it with your finger. And again, you're only going to be able to know it's locked by just tapping on it again you'll see that padlock sign but what you can also do is customize one of your buttons on your remote control to auto lock as well so go into control button customizations and then under c1 if you scroll to the bottom you'll say ae lock dash unlock so i've got mine set at ae lock unlock for my c1 and i've got recenter gimbal for c2 now what that means is now if you used to press the fn button on your remote controller that will now auto automatically lock it so you don't have to be fiddling around or pressing the screen with your finger hoping for the best it's a lot easier to do it so if you want that auto exposure lock this is a great way of doing it let's just switch now to the other camera and i'll show you as i do it so this is the first option so by clicking on the screen holding that finger down it will get auto exposure locked and then to release it again click it and hold it down for about a second and it will lock and unlock this is what you need to do you need to also do it direct in the center if you do it anywhere else apart from that center of the screen it won't work but by pressing that fn button if I I now press it you'll see now there is a lock icon on so it's locked that exposure by clicking the screen again and pressing it again you'll see now it's unlocked you don't have to press the screen you can just press the fn button but you won't have any understanding that it's locked unless you press that screen to confirm it so it'd be great if there's a little lock icon in the corner which i'm sure will come but that's definitely a lot quicker way of doing it so let's just get it in the air now and i'll just show you again some other examples it's a pretty bright day we've got no nd filter on so i'm going to change that slider to 0 0.7 i'm now going to press the fn button on the controller i have no clue that that is actually locked but by clicking on the screen i can see that little lock icon just to confirm it and then as i turn that drone around you'll see that exposure is locked completely as we get closer now to the direction of the sun it will be completely blown out but keeping it locked at 0 0.7 you're going to retain that exposure so again it's not obvious it's not probably the best way of doing it if we just had a lock icon just next to where it says auto just like we did before that would be so much handier and it would just prevent any people maybe not doing this correctly thinking it's exposed when it's not again we're going to put it right down to 1.7 click on that fn button again we can see it's locked press it again it's unlocked press it again it's locked you get what i mean so you just keep pressing it and then you can just either tap at the screen to confirm it or you will get the hang of this pretty quickly it just needs some display what do you think it needs something on it but again you can see it's massively under 1.7 now i'm going to tilt it all the way around now so into the direction of the sun and that exposure is locked still at 0 1.7 now it will be completely blown out so much because it's direct into the sun and it's not it's staying at the values that you've set it at so i hope that helps guys thanks so much to this is cornwall and to dragon 13 you were the two who commented and told me how this works so this is excellent and get this out now to more people because a lot of people are still struggling with this thanks so much guys i've got a really busy day today so i just quickly put this video out for you we'll see you all very soon Bye bye